Welcome to Counter. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at base sales in inventory or stock holding ratio. We're going to explain what it is and how to interpret or analyze the ratio. And we're going to go through an example for you to understand. it. So after this lesson, I'm confident you should be able to not only calculate the ratio, but also analyze it well. So what is this ratio all about? Well, the ratio indicates the quantity of inventory on hand in relation to the quantity purchased. It is a measurement of the average number of days the stock is held before it is sold. So it helps us calculate on average how long does it take for us to sell our inventory. How long does it take? So we are calculating here the number of days in a specific period. Generally, a low day sales in inventory is favorable because it indicates a shorter duration of time to sell the inventory, meaning that the entity could be efficiently managing its inventory. Okay, so the lower the ratio, the better it is for the company because it means we are, we are taking a shorter period for us to sell our inventory. A high day sales in inventory could indicate that the entity may be dealing with obsolete inventory and or over invested in inventory. So what are we saying here? If the company or any entity has a high day sales in inventory ratio, it means that it's taking longer for them to sell their inventory. That means the inventory could be obsolete or it has over invested in inventory. Okay, so those are the ways to look at this one. When the ratio is low, it means that they are efficiently managing their inventory. When it's high, it means that the inventory has become obsolete or they have over invested in inventory. This ratio can be compared between different periods of the company as well as with that of competitors. Okay, so when we get this ratio here, how does it make sense? You can compare it with the previous years. What was the ratio in the previous year or the previous quarter or the previous month, depending for how long you're calculating it for, or what was the ratio in the last five years? And then you can also compare it with your competitors. What is the ratio of our competitor compared to our own ratio? And you'll be able to see where you are or how far behind or how far ahead you are of your competitors in terms of selling your inventory quickly. As with other ratios, this ratio varies and will be interpreted differently between industries, okay? So you cannot compare it between industries because they will be different. It will not make sense. You're not comparing apples to apples, okay? For instance, if you look at a supermarket or a grocery store, you'll expect their day sales in inventory to be very low because they sell their inventory very quickly, okay? Because they are selling uh, perishables, they are selling food, that will be, they'll be selling off their inventory very quickly. But if you look at another industry, let's say a company which makes aeroplanes like Airbus, for instance, you cannot compare that company like Airbus to a supermarket because their day sales in inventory will be vastly different. So you cannot compare it between industries, but you can compare it with your competitors and you can compare it within the company with the previous years or with the previous period. Okay, so I hope that has made sense. This ratio is also one of the measures used to calculate the cash conversion cycle, which is the entity's average days to convert its investment in inventory into cash flows. Okay, so you'll find the link to that lesson on the cash conversion cycle in the description below. So what is the formula for the day sales in inventory ratio? Here is the formula. It's inventory divided by the cost of goods sold multiplied by 365 or multiplied by the number of days in a year okay so this is the simple formula that you'll use to calculate your day sales in inventory so it's the inventory divided by cost of goods sold times 365. now a few things i must mention about this formula some will write the inventory as ending inventory which is the same as inventory because we are looking at the inventory for this specific period However, the variation to this formula is that others will use average inventory, where they take the inventory at the end of the previous year plus the inventory at the end of this year, which is the same as inventory at the beginning of this year plus the inventory at the end of this year, divided by two, and then you divide that by the cost of goods sold and you multiply by 365, okay? So the two ways they write the numerator here is to either use the inventory for this specific year or to use the average inventory, where they take the inventory for last year and for this year and divide it by two, okay? So you'll be given, for instance, the balance sheet or the statement of financial position for 2020 and 2019. And then you will look at the inventory for 2019 and 2020, add them together 
and divide that by two and it will give you the average inventory which you'll use it as the numerator and then you divide it by the cost of goods sold times the 365 okay so that's another way of calculating it but the one we are looking at here is where we take inventory which is the inventory for this year alone so in that example where they've given you 2020 and 2019 you will just take the inventory for 2020 and divide it by cost of goods sold and multiply it by 365. So I know some will ask the question in the comments below to ask, why am I using inventory and not average inventory? It's just a variation. And how do you know which one you'll use? Well, you look at how, what your lecturer has said, or you look at what your textbook has said, or what your study guide has said. If they say use average inventory, then you just use average inventory. If they just mention inventory or ending inventory, then you just use the inventory at the end of this period, which will be in your balance sheet or the statement of financial position. Okay, so it's just a variation to this formula, which does not make too much of a difference when you calculate the answer. Okay, another thing I must mention is here we use 365, but your question may tell you that assume that the number of days per year is 360. So you'll use 360. Okay, so question the question will most likely indicate whether well, it's 360 or 365. If it doesn't indicate, then you'll probably just use the 365 days, okay? So I hope that has highlighted some of the concerns that will come up, okay? Another way of calculating the day sales in inventory, and your question might be asking it this way. It's by taking the 365 days or the 360 days, depending on the number of days you are given, divided by the inventory turnover ratio. Okay, you will get the exact same answer. So you take 365 days divided by the inventory turnover ratio to calculate this. So sometimes in your question, you may be given what the inventory turnover ratio is. They may tell you maybe it's 11.66 and then they will tell you the number of days in a period is 360 or 365. Calculate the day sales in inventory. And you'll just take the number of days in a year, 365, divided by the inventory turnover ratio that you are given and you will get your day sales in inventory inventory okay so there is another way that you can calculate this one here but if you're not given your inventory turnover ratio you can just use the the formula here above and we have calculated the inventory turnover ratio we explained what that ratio is and we went into detail into going into an example and calculating it so if you'd like to check that one out you'll also find the link in the description below so let's look at an example quickly here's an example and we use this same statement of financial position or the balance sheet and the statement of comprehensive income or income statement to calculate the inventory turnover ratio so if you check that one out you'll see that it's the exact same one and then we are asked here to calculate the day sales in inventory of the company okay so what is the formula again for the day sales in the inventory of the company well it's the inventory divided by cost of goods sold times 365 days and we will get our answer okay so now let's look at our balance sheet or the statement of financial position the inventory, we're looking at the inventory for this year. So here we are given 2017 and 2018. So if we are just going to use the inventory, we're going to take the one for this year. We go to, under our current assets, we'll find inventory on stock on hand, 60,000 rand. Okay. So that's going to be our numerator, 60,000 rand, divided by the cost of goods sold or the cost of sales. And we get that in our income statement. You have cost of goods sold over here, 475,000 rand. So we'll take the 60,000 rand inventory for this period divided by 475,000 rand times the 365 days. And how much does that give us? The day sales in inventory is 60,000 rand divided by 475,000 rand times 365 and it gives us 46.11 days. That means on average, this company is selling off their inventory in 46 days, okay? So that is what this means. Now, if they told you to use the average inventory, how what would you do? Well, you take the inventory for 2017, which is the 92,000 rand, plus the inventory for 2018 of 60,000 rand, divide it by two, and you will get your average inventory that you'll use as your numerator. And then everything else will stay the same, okay? Just like I explained in the previous slide, okay? So this is how you calculate this ratio, and you interpret it the way we mentioned it. Like I said here, it takes the company on average 46 days to sell off their inventory. Now, how will it make sense? Is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? Well, if they give you the one for the previous year, you can compare it. If the one for the previous year is greater than 46, that means the company is improving. Okay. If it was lower than 46 for the previous year or for the previous period, then 
the company is not doing as well as it did last year. Or you can also compare it to your competitors. If they told you that your competitors' day sales and inventory ratio is 60, for instance, that means you're doing better than your competitors. That means you're clearing your inventory faster than your competitors are. Okay. I hope this lesson has made sense. I hope you have gained value from this lesson. And if you have, please subscribe to our channel, like this video, and share it to those you think it might help. Till next time. Cheers.